What is happening guys, Matt Made here. Monster Hunter World just released a few weeks ago. I want to get my full review on the game, so let's jump right into it. The story of Monster Hunter is played pretty fast and loose. The only goal seems to get you stronger and to push you up the Hunter ranks to face more powerful and more interesting monsters. The experience is such that you really see how each different area is and how exactly the monsters interact not only with you, but with each other as well. All in all, it is somewhat of a weak story that's barely coherent throughout. You have your partner with you who, aside from pretty much being a damsel in distress and getting attacked all the time, sits at camp and uh, pretty much acts as your menu guide so you can start a quest or uh, when you're out in the field get some food. Otherwise, she's barely there and adds little to the story, in my opinion. The greatest help that you have when you're in the game and you're soloing or uh, playing with one other person is your Palico. Your Palico will not only heal you, but can also knock down monsters depending on the weapon they have equipped. The gameplay is sharp and intuitive. There are all sorts of combos and tricks that each weapon has and that you need to figure out. I've been playing the game for about a few dozen hours at least and there's still weapon mechanics and things that I'm learning. So there is the combat is really in depth. From the charge blade with the sword axe combos to the sword with the stacks and multi hits. Each weapon gives you multiple ways and multiple tools to deal with enemies. Also, you have a variety of armors. You, each armor has its own skill and its own rarity. So you can pick and choose which skills you want to have equipped as well as pick an entire armor set, which will grant you a boost in your overall defense and overall uh, endurance. So you can either A, go for an entire set to get that boost, or B, pick and choose which armor pieces you want based on the skills you want at that point in time. It's really intuitive, it's really in-depth, and it's really interesting. Overall, no matter what your weapon preference is, you'll find something that you both enjoy and is really effective. The monsters which make up the world are also really varied and interesting. In the beta, you were only able to hunt three monsters that resided in the forest and would run into a fourth that was the top predator that you could fight. However, as you play through the game, you discover many more monsters per area and times they'll show themselves very wildly. Each monster feels unique and alive in their own way, from the great Jagras that seems to pop up everywhere to the Kuliaku, which I seldom see in the forest area. Each monster gives a great deal of diversity and life to the game. There are also monsters that aren't area specific, like um, there's this one dragon that'll drop like bombs pretty much, and it's a really high ranking monster and it'll pop up pretty much anywhere and it'll wreck you. I love the fact that no matter what area you are, you have a chance of encountering multiple monsters that don't reside in that area. Not to mention that when you're looking for one monster, but another suddenly pops up and attacks you, it feels like a thrill no matter how many times you play the game. The online co-op is also great. While playing online, I've had zero issues and I haven't noticed any lag. Combat with friends or others is fun and interesting. Also, if your friends have a heavy weapon like a hammer, then you can do kind of combination attacks and you can launch the other player either towards the enemy or away from well, towards the monster away from the monster it's really cool and it's really funny when it happens if you do play online with others the monsters become a bit more difficult and scale accordingly however from what i've played and what it seems like it seems as though the scaling is set and it's much easier to hunt in a group of four than it is a group of two simply because more people can draw the aggro and the damage over time feels just way higher. They've also made it much easier to join your friends quests. You can make a squad and invite your friends to that specific online session. You can also have multiple squads and every time upon starting up the game, 
you are given the option to either join a random online session or a session of one of the squads that you're a part of. This is a great improvement over the code, the little friend code or whatever that you had to put in during the beta, and it is a welcome change. There are a few gripes that I have with the game. For one, you cannot start story missions together. Instead, you have to start the quest solo, watch through the cutscene, and then after all the cutscenes, you can fire an SOS flare, which your friends can then search for and join in. It's more of an annoyance than anything, and I'd still wonder why, instead of simply showing the cutscene to everyone, you instead have to go about it and they have to go about it in that way. I'm guessing it's only because that when you start the cutscenes, your character is fully rendered, so no matter what armor pieces you're wearing, your character shows up in those armor pieces. Another issue is that you can't go directly into expedition mode with your friends. Instead, you have to either go through a quest or an investigation and then decide to stay in that specific area instead of going back to the town. It would have been much easier and, in my opinion, more logical to be able to pick a region and then just have your friends join and then depart instead of having a instead of a forcing a player to or players to go on an investigation or a quest just to get to that area together. Aside from those few gripes, the game is astounding. The look and feel of the game are on point. The monsters feel like living, breathing creatures. The locales are vibrant and always give you things to do. And the weapons are all fun and interesting. If you're debating whether or not to make this your first foray, foray to Monster Hunter, then I'd say yes, go for it, definitely. The game has few bad points and many, many good points. And it's a game that you can easily sink dozens of hours into without it feeling repetitive. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Does Monster Hunter World interest you? Have you played it? Are you currently playing it? Let me know one or all of those things in the comment section. And strike that subscribe button if you want weekly reviews and daily Let's Plays. This is Matt Maid, and I will see you guys next time.